everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I health check my guinea pig and how I recommend health checking a guinea pig and I've been doing it this way for quite a while now. So there are a few items that I personally like to use when health checking a guinea pig and they are completely optional. The only real two necessities that you definitely need are the two things at the back here. So these are the items I like to use when health checking my guinea pig and I'll go through what they are and what I use them for. So down at the front here we have got a mini water bottle. Now this you don't need a travel water bottle to use this. This is just the one I use on my travel cages. I just have this here as an example. So using something like this is to observe if they are drinking and making sure they're not dehydrated or anything. You can obviously just observe that while they're in the cage and using their normal water bottle, but you can also use something like this and offer them a drink to see if they'll take it. I also have a selection of food here. This is to check that the guinea pigs are eating, taking in food, and also that they haven't got overgrown teeth or back molars. The One of the signs of overgrown back molars is that you'll see your guinea pig is eating food, taking in food, but then when they're chewing it, it's not going down, so they're dropping out the majority of the crumbs of that food. And that's a sign of overgrown back molars. So a hard veg is great a great way to check that. I also have some pellets and a treat. I definitely recommend a selection because sometimes some items are easier for them to eat than others. I then have a little magnifying glass. This is really handy when checking for mites and looking through the fur. I just personally like to have a little mini one and use it for health checks. One of the most important items back here is my weighing scales. This of course is to monitor my guinea pig's weight, to make sure they're not underweight or overweight, to make sure they're not gaining rapidly or losing rapidly. And then finally another important item is this journal. I just use this old 2015 diary and this is to log the weights of my guinea pigs, to log any vet trips, checkups, medication, any changes in behaviour or I also keep track of their um, age and when I got them and my kind of guess on their age if I don't know their actual age is it's all in this little book. So today I will be checking my female guinea pig Dolly. She is my Dutch crested female guinea pig, short haired American and she's a fairly good guinea pig when I'm doing health checks which is why I've chosen her but the majority of guinea pigs do not like to be health checked you just have to be patient with them and take your time first thing I do with a health check is weigh my guinea pigs and obviously I keep a log of that on a weekly basis as I've already said there is no exact correct weight for a guinea pig but your female should be somewhere between 700 and 900 grams anywhere a little bit over that is okay but they should be somewhere in between that kind of number. And for males, it's between 900 and 1,200 grams. I'm going to quickly go ahead and weigh Dolly. Now, these aren't fancy weighing scales at all. They are just kitchen scales. I have a couple that I use on a regular basis. So I'm just going to change the unit to grams. And my guinea pigs are very good for sitting on the weighing scales. So Dolly is 932 grams, as I said, there is no exact weight and she is slightly over the numbers I gave you, which is absolutely fine because that is her usual weight. She's always at a steady weight around that number, which is very, very good. And she is quite a chunky, well-built guinea pig, she always has been. Then I will offer her some food to see if she is taking in food properly and I usually do this before continuing with the rest of the health check and that is simply because it tends to calm them down and make them forget that they are in a sort of a stressful situation, they're away from their cage mates, they're being manhandled, you know, so I do like to give them this to check that they're eating and to also calm them down a bit. And also checking their drinking is very important, so for dehydration purposes. The next place I like to health check is around her facial features, so I have to get in quite close for this and I usually prefer to do this on my lap, obviously this is a video so it's easier for me to film it in this location for you but it's much easier to do this on your lap so I have to check all of her facial features so that's ears, eyes, nose, mouth and teeth so I'll start with her ears now I can see straight away her ears are nice and healthy there's no 
crusty skin or any dried skin on there. It's nice and smooth. There is nothing in there that suggests she has ear mites. It's nice and clean and clear. So same kind of thing with her eyes. There's no dust or hay in there at all. Her eyes are her usual nice clear colour. You should also, it's always handy to keep a note of your guinea pig's eye colour because any changes in their eyes can suggest hay pokes. And also she doesn't seem to be in any pain. She's allowing me to touch around the eye. There's no discharge or anything coming out of the eye at all. Around the eye is nice and clear, no crusting, no dry skin. So very healthy eyes. The next place is her nose. Now, noses are very important because any runny noses is a serious health concern. She has got a nice, dry, clean and clear nose. You need to look right up there. Magnifying glass is always handy for this part. She's got no snots or anything. So now I'm going to check her teeth. This is going to be harder for you to see, but I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So what I'll do is look underneath her mouth I won't tip them upside down or do anything like that. I just check them from where she is so that she stays nice and calm. I'll open the two top lips and I can see her teeth. She's got four front teeth, two at the top, two at the bottom. She hasn't lost any. They are both at very good lengths. No sign of any chips or anything. I then will lower the bottom lip just to double check those bottom teeth. Check there's nothing stuck in them. Check they are nice and white and healthy and that she has no signs of food being stored in that part of her mouth because she isn't swallowing. So I'm very, very happy with that and I already saw that she ate her food and was able to swallow it, which was a really good sign and shows that she's in perfect health. So I will then check her feet. Now, I don't have a routine with nail clipping. I just do it when they need it because some of my guinea pigs nails grow quicker some grow slower some of them file them down themselves because they do a lot of climbing on the houses i have and things so i just cut them i check them on a weekly basis and cut them when they need to be cut so the way i like to do it is i just put my finger underneath their paw and doing this helps you see the quick of the nail much easier and you can see the length of the nails so here's a nice and short because i did them recently so they're perfect and I have to do this with all of her feet, so all four of her feet. I will then have to check the pads of her feet to check that they aren't infected or sore in any way. So a way to avoid sore feet is to use a decent bedding. So I'm currently using Megazorb, it's a very good bedding. Nice and soft, dust free and clean and it helps to keep their feet nice and healthy. So by doing this I just lift up her feet slightly and check the pads underneath. Now, depending on your guinea pig's colour, they should be their usual colour. So Dolly has got pink feet, so her pads are nice and pink. They're also very, very soft, so just brush your finger along them to feel them. Very soft, there's no crusting or dry skin on there, no sores, there's no redness, and they look really nice and healthy and nice and clean. If Also, if your guinea pig's feet appear to be dirty it's always good to use an earbud to and warm water to clean them up to avoid any infection starting there with be, dirt being trapped in the feet. The next area to check is their fur. Obviously you should know the colouring of their fur. Guinea pig's fur colour will tend to change with age. Now her fur is nice, it's got a nice growth to it and the texture of it hasn't changed at all since the last time I health checked it. There's no sign of any white dots in there or black dots, dry skin or anything like that. There is a clear sign that there's no mites or anything. And then looking at her skin, it's nice and soft, nice and pink, no flaky skin, no dry skin and very, very healthy. And I'll do this all around her skin and fur just to double check that there's no mites or bugs hiding there anywhere and no sign of hair loss or anything which is very good and be aware if you're a new guinea pig owner guinea pigs do have a bold patch at the back of their ears which is completely normal they all have it some of them have larger ones than others but it's completely normal now 
unfortunately you do have to get in personally with your guinea pigs and check their bum area and Dolly has been very good she's always very good with health checks and doesn't mind me doing it but you may need a second pair of hands to help you check this area so this is very important area to check and I wouldn't suggest skipping it at all because you could get signs of illnesses down the bum area especially with poops and stuff which I'll speak about in a second but you just the easiest way to do it is have them on your lap or have them on a comfortable space like Dolly is now and just use your two fingers to slightly lift up the bum area and then I just use my other finger to check around check it's nice and clean and clear there's no dirt there there's no poops that are trapped that she's struggling to pass it's nice and clean there's no dried skin no sign of infections there's no redness and she clearly is comfortable with me touching that area which shows that it's a nice healthy area now guinea pig poos and peas are very very important when doing a health check too you really do you need to make sure that you know what your guinea pigs pee and poo looks like. It sounds horrible, but it's incredibly important. If you have a herd like me, then it's best to separate them. But guinea pig poo is shaped like a tic tac. It's around this size for adult guinea pigs. It will be slightly smaller for smaller guinea pigs and it could be slightly bigger or slightly smaller. Your guinea pig's poo shouldn't be too light in color and it shouldn't be too dark in color. It should not be runny it should not be misshapen and you should pretty be quite aware of what a normal guinea pig poo looks like as for guinea pig pee it should be a pale yellow or a yellow color it could be slightly darker slightly lighter any real dark pee so orange red or brown is a concern it could be just the fact that they've been eating dark veg such as beetroot but it also could be a serious health issue and a sign of that so you need to seek professional assistance straight away and take them to your local vet just to be on the safe side and blood in urine is a huge concern so if you see that your guinea pig is has got blood in their urine or is struggling to pass poo or urine usually if they are in pain and it's a sign of some sort of bladder stone or infection they will usually squeak when they pass the urine or really struggle to or they may not be passing it at all so that is also another serious health concern and you will need to take them to the vet of course dolly is a female guinea pig but for male guinea pigs you will need to also check their grease glands this is important because you need to make sure this stays nice and clean it can attract flies during the summertime which you don't want and to clean up a grease gland you can use a variety of different things gorgeous guineas sell a good variety of products that you can use just make sure it's nice and clean and that that also helps with the smell that males have and keeps them nice and clean so you do need to be checking that on males as well now the last thing i would recommend doing is just observing their personality and behavior you should be well aware of what normal is for your guinea pig and you should be able to spot if they're not being their normal self if they're slightly out of the ordinary maybe they're more active than usual maybe they're less active maybe they're sleeping a lot maybe they're not moving much or maybe like I mentioned at the beginning they're limping or struggling to move you should definitely know the difference between your normal guinea pig and a poorly or injured guinea pig and just by observing them either in their cage and just keeping a log of that in your little book how I health check my guinea pig I hope I've been as detailed as possible and Dolly definitely deserves to be applauded because she's very very good she is always such a good guinea pig with health checks and bear in mind that with different breeds of guinea pig it's going to be slightly different but on average that is how I health check every single one of my guinea pigs on a regular basis I would recommend health checking your guinea pigs on a weekly basis at the exact same time for an elderly guinea pig I'd recommend health checking them every other day or at least two to three times a week and a poorly guinea pig needs health checking every single day you will definitely be thankful of doing it in the long run because your guinea pigs will live longer healthier lives because you will hopefully spot any illnesses beforehand and before they could potentially cause your guinea pigs to become seriously ill or pass away which is what we don't want i hope this has helped some of you out definitely give this video a like because dolly has been very good and she deserves to have likes for that 
but also like it if you've enjoyed it and it's helped you out. Give me a comment down below if there's anything you do differently with your guinea pig, especially if you've got skinny pigs or longer haired guinea pigs. Maybe I should do one of these in the future with Casper or Pumpkin, so a longer haired guinea pig, just to show you the slight differences with checking their fur and everything. But as I say, it's pretty much the same thing. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.